and there were shenanigans on the field, and there have been stories about him even through the draft process that have not been real glowing. I mean, how do you address that, and will you put up with that stuff? Well, first off, my faith says every man may deserve a, a, a second chance, okay? Have you ever been 19 before? Have you ever been 20 before? Okay, young men do certain things, and you know what? They learn from that, and they'll learn from that. I'm, this guy is a very – I like the guy. He's very mature. He's very smart. And I bet you, you know, we all learn from our mistakes. I learned from my mistakes in the past, too. But I'm better today than I was – a year ago so I have no problems with you know a young man being allowed to you know understand the mistakes he is let's move forward and let's you know not do it again that's how I look at it John, can you give us an idea of how thoroughly all that was vetted and what stones you guys unturned to make sure you were comfortable it was so thoroughly vetted I can tell you there's order <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you just because the couple years were pretty tumultuous, but what do you say to any the people who say that Mayfield's some of his behavior is reminiscent of Johnny Menzel? Yeah, as I look at, I, I mean, you guys are gonna try to create. I mean, here's how I look at this: in doing all of our research with Baker Mayfield, he is an individual that has earned it all the way through his life. As I look at this. Thing, whatever he has done from high school to college and now here, he has earned and really worked his way up there. And the one thing I really love is when you talk to the Oklahoma staff, he comes in, to, when he gets to Oklahoma, he begins to learn the playbook in three days. He loves the game of football. He loves to study the game of football. Okay, I have no qualms about this guy whatsoever as a man or as a football player. I think he is a really good person. What was it in your process as you went through it in meeting with Baker, and this is for both of you, that made you feel comfortable that he is mature enough and able to really shoulder that type of weight and responsibility that at some point is going to come with being the, you know, the future franchise quarterback? When he comes and sits here and talks to you all tomorrow, you guys will see how mature he is and see how he handles himself on the public stage. When you sit with him on a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you know what? He can actually hold a conversation at different levels in mature fashion. And, and I think John said it. I, I think the other characteristic a young man must have coming here to play quarterback is you've got to have some inner strength. And this guy has that. I mean, again, if you look back through his history, he's had to earn and fight through every situation to be where he is today. And I don't suspect he'll do anything different here than that.